Hello classy classy people, how y'all doing? My name is Wayne Bolden, I am your speed king. As always, I implore you to turn on your closed capture. That way you can see each and every one of the horses that we're currently talking about during our analysis. And of course, if you need our tip sheet for this weekend at the fairgrounds, you can email us at speedking24 at yahoo.com. Our tip sheets are 15 bucks. All the money goes back into our channel to support us, to keep us on the air. And as always, please subscribe, ring the bell, comment. Please support us each and every which way that you can, as always. Well, we're going to go Derby Dreaming. Derby Dreaming again down there at the Sunland Park Derby on Sunday. And it is a field of nine uh, beautiful, beautiful colts. Uh, no, a field of eight, excuse me. It's a grade three for 500000 going a mile and an eighth on the dirt, of course. And you know some of the suspects. But before we do, let we, before we dial in, let me give a shout out to my boys down there in Sunland Park. And down there in New Mexico. Old Paco, Mr. Lopez, and of course Jervis down there. Want to also give a shout out to Daniel uh, Jacobson, one of our new listeners. Or maybe he's been around a long time. I think he's been around a while. And Mr. Uh, Cesar Chavez, right? Of course, thanks so much for your support. I try to shout each and every one of you folks out for just supporting me as much as you do. I really do appreciate it. And again, I work tirelessly to just bring you these uh, videos and hopefully you enjoy them. I know I have a bunch of fun, but I really couldn't do this without you and uh, don't want to get mushy on you. But let's dive into the Sunland Park Derby. The points are 50 points, 20 points, 10 points, and 5 points to the first four finishers, right? So let's dive right in. It's Sunday, race number 11. The number one horse, Casa Terra. Casa Terra is, uh, I think, is 8-1 to one on the morning line. That's not a bad price. A horse has five starts, one win, and one third. This is an Asmussen runner. Now, it appears to be a cut below. Exit the Southwest Stakes against uh, New, Grand, New Grange. That's a Bob Baffert runner. Ran ninth by nine lengths. It's not a very talented horse, Casa Terra. I would be shocked if this gun runner Cole actually beat this Phil. I mean, this is one of the few gun runners that, to me, just has not panned out. Now, Casa Terra is bred top and bottom, uh, sired by gun runner, and the grandsire is Tappet. But this one just has not panned out at all. I mean, it was beat by Call Me Jamal last time. Uh, speed figures are uh, two or three rungs cut below here. So I don't like the number one horse. And eight to one appears to be uh, a huge, huge under uh, over, uh, underlay, if you ask me, if you got to take them. I wouldn't take anything less than 15 to one on Casa Terra. Let's throw this horse off the ticket. And by the way, the horse is running off of Lasix because of, the, of that rule. You know, you're in a derby race, can't run on Lasix. So you need to pay attention to that. Number one, Casa Terra, we're going to throw out. Well, 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 here's another horse. Uh, the number two horse is another Steve Asmussen. Classic moment. Seven to two on the morning line. Five starts, one win, and two thirds. Asmussen is the trainer of record. And Joel Rosario is actually coming in to ride this horse. So we better take a long look at the number two horse to get Joel Rosario to come down to New Mexico to ride this horse for the very first time is kind of uh, eye-opening, to be honest with you. Uh, seven to two classic moment is the horse is by Classic Empire by Yankee, uh, the grandsire is Yankee Victor on the back end. Now the horse came out of a stake race here at Sunland Park on uh, the 27th of February, which was the Mind That Bird Derby, and ended up running third by one and one and a half lengths to Straight Up G, who was in this race, and Bye Bye Bobby, okay, only was beaten by one and a half lengths. Now, Negro was in the arms. Joel Rosario is up now. Let me say it again. Negro was in the arms in the Mind That Bird Stakes, who only lost by one and a half lengths, to Straight Up G, and Bye Bye Bobby, who's in this race. Joel Rosario's in town now. So you're going to get a Rolex ride on it, too. And again, for Joel Rosario to be riding 
Saturday over at the fairgrounds and on Sunday to pick up his tax and come to Sun, uh, Sunland Park to ride this race. It's, it speaks a lot. I mean, it's $500,000, so there's nothing to shake a stick at. But I tell you right now, the number two horse just on the jock change is an upgrade. So I know straight up G is the speed in here and had beaten the number two, but I'm telling you that's a huge rider change. And this horse has been across the track one time. I would say the number two classic moment is a huge, huge threat in this spot. The number three, Fowler's Blue. Well, Fowler's Blue is 20 to 1 on the morning line, the number three. Seven starts, two wins, and one third. And again, um, I don't, Mendez is our trainer of record. I believe it's a local trainer. But again, this horse came out of that same race that I talked about here. That's the mine that Bird Derby and finished fourth by seven. Speed figures are horrible on the three, Fowler Blue. Let's throw that one off the ticket right away, the number three. Slow down, Andy. Please slow down. Well, here's your favorite, folks. The number four horse, Slow Down Andy, of course, is two to one on the morning line. This horse is the number four by Nitrous, who was a derby winner. So it makes sense that this horse is going derby dreaming. So his daddy was a derby winner, and you need to pay attention to that, okay? And I guess who trains him? Doug O'Neill and Mario is in the ride. So I know they're very, very serious about Slow Down Andy. And, and Mr. Andy sports the best speed figure, too, back when he ran in the Los Al, uh, Al Futurity and won it beautifully. Came back, made his three-year-old debut off of a 78-day layoff on February 19th at the fairground and got smacked around in the Risen Star by Epic Center. Finished 6 by 10. That was a grade 2. This is a grade 3 getting a big, big class relief because there's no Epic Center in this race, obviously, who's in the Louisiana Derby on Saturday, of course. And who ran second was Smile Happy. That's the McPeak and McPeak horse. And, of course, the third horse is Zandon. So that Risen Star where Slow Down Andy got smacked around, there was the top flight derby contenders in that race. And to his credit, he earned a decent speed figure even though he got smoked by 10 limbs. So he hasn't run a race yet as a three-year-old in terms of an effort. 78-day layoff, they bring him back February 19th, then he gets 36 days to this race. I think he's going to run big and run big, big. Okay, so I would be shocked if Slow Down Andy is not first or second in this race, for sure. That's the number four. Bye Bye Bobby. Well, we talked a little bit about Bye Bye Bobby coming out of that Mind Your Bird Stakes here. Ran second by three quarters, was five to one that day, and again ran a beautiful race. Ran second behind the bottom horse, the number eight straight up G, and we talked about Slow Down Andy um, coming out of uh, that Risen Star now taking these. I think he, Slow Down Andy is better than these, but I'm going to tell you right now, the number two horse classic moment who came out of that race, I think is going to be a huge upgrade here. So the number five, Bye Bye Bobby, I don't, I'm not particularly negative on. Only won one race from four starts, two seconds. They did pay $870,000 for this horse. And again, that's a lot of money. Fincher is our trainer of record. And again, the horse ran second to the bottom horse in here, straight up G. So what do I really think about Bye Bye Bobby? Well, I mean, I really don't know what to make of him. I, I'm not crazy about Bye Bye Bobby here. Uh, he's a speed type. He won't get to the, to the front because he surely is not going to get in front of straight up G. And again, he doesn't finish that well. So I think Bye Bye Bobby is in the wrong spot. He's 9-2 on the morning line. And I got him as a 12% win probability in here. I think his fair odds is like 7-1. to one. And it was really easy for me to throw Bye Bye Bobby off the ticket here. I don't like him in this spot. No way, no how. And of course, you can always use him underneath. But I'm not using him in the win spot. No way, no how. The number six horse, Pepper Spray. Well... 
Here's a very nice colt, you know, 15 to 1, the number 6 pepper spray. Okay, the horse is by Tail of Exel, and it's a very, very nice horse. Has four starts and three wins. No, you didn't. I just said the horse won three from four starts. Now, how are you going to knock that? Well, let me show you the ways that I'm going to knock the pepper spray horse. Speed figures are horrible. I believe my numbers, right? This horse got smacked around in the mind that bird stake against straight up G, the eight horse in here, got smacked around by Bye Bye Bobby, the number five, who I just kindly threw off the ticket, who ran second in that race, and the Steve Asmussen Classic Moment, the number two. This horse finished seven by 13 pepper spray, and can we throw him out fast enough? No. Out, O-U-T. Six, out. Hate that horse. Don't like him. Nothing personally, just don't like him. To win. And number seven, Chrome King. Well, if you think I didn't like the number six pepper spray, wait until I throw the number seven out, Chrome King, who is 15 to 1 on the morning line. Ten starts, three wins. Oh, no, you didn't. I just said the king just won three of ten. That's pretty nice. This Kentucky bread is by Munnings. Speed figures are just horrible here. The horse is coming from Turf Paradise. Ran a beautiful race late, late, late with Mr. Garcia. Uh, I understand the trainers, Hernandez, B, uh, Emma Hernandez. Let me see the gentleman's first name. Uh, Miguel Mand uh, Hernandez. And again, Garcia's in the yard. So I can understand them coming from Turf Paradise Derby dreaming. But this horse should be beat up. Let's throw the number seven, Chrome King, off the ticket with the six pepper spray. Six and seven, O-U-T, out. We don't like them. No shape, no form, no fashion. And here's your engine. Give me the keys. Well, straight up G. Well, well, well. Straight up G is five to two on the morning line. Hate that price. Outside, I don't think he's going to be wide because I don't think they can beat him to the front, right? So he should get out, get over, relax, and maybe he can take off. The number eight, straight up G, outside the name, which I love, five to two, came out of the mind that bird states, which we've been talking about during this entire analysis. Went gate to wire with 121 pounds, and I tell you right now, the horse was on Lasix, and now he's off of Lasix. Do that mean anything? Y'all tell me. But I'm telling you, he's quick, fast, and he is in a hurry. Now, he went from a mile and 16 stretching out to a mile and an eight. What y'all think? He was fading there at the end. He only won by uh, three quarters of a length, but he was in front by three and two lengths. So if you think that extra six eighths of a mile is going to hurt him going, well, then you got a problem. But to me, speed is king, and straight up G is going to be flat out motoring with Gonzalez on the lead, and Richard Baltus is doing the signal calling from the trainer's booth, as always. So straight up G has five start, three wins in one second. Here's the other thing. Straight up G is a California bread. No, you didn't. I just said straight up G is a California bread. So, I mean, y'all going to some... Some problems here, y'all. Y'all need to figure out if you really, really like uh, Straight Up G. I know I do because he's the speed of the race. And I just got a message from one of our classy listener, Mark Palmer. Mr. Palmer, how you doing? Interrupting me in the middle of analysis. So Straight Up G is going to be one of my first to second picks in here. Obviously, speed is king. This horse is controlling speed. Has already beat the number two classic moment. But again, we know the number two horse has a big jock switch to Joel Rosario. So there is your Sunland Derby there at beautiful New Mexico. Everybody's Derby dreaming. It is a cool, cool feel of eight. And what do I think? Well, I tell you what I think. I think the number eight straight up G can continue to improve here. And of course, you know I'm going to take the speed because the horse is going to be bounding on the lead by itself. I like the number eight as my top pick. And I would be more than remiss if I tell you right now, they all got to beat the number four. Slow down, Andy. Oh, Doug O'Neill got this one prime ready and ready to return to the Derby to represent his daddy, Nyquist, to what? 
take defend his daddy's derby. Number four, slow down Andy is, is the favorite and should be in this race. Will be my second pick. And of course my third pick with the big jock upgrade. Classic moment, the Asmussen bringing in the Rolex rider. That's right, the professional himself, right? The genius, Joe Rosario's on the two. So it's going to be eight, four, two. In that order, speed is king. We're going to try to speed pop him with straight up G. We love the name. We love the speed. Let's see if Gonzalez can go gate to wire. Hey, slow down Andy's going to be coming for him for sure. So it's 8-4-2. We're going to use all three of them in our horizontals. Stay classy in everything you do and down in the description, please see our disclaimer. Tell me what you think about the Sunland Park Derby on Sunday. Stay classy. Mr. Lopez, Taco Paco out there, and Jervis. As always, y'all boys stay classy. Thanks for your support from New Mexico. Your speed king. I'm gone, y'all. 8-4-2 in your this year's Sunland Derby. For sure.